in this video, I am going to go over Social Security and Medicare. Social Security provides income for older people when they retire, and the earliest you can take out Social Security is at the age of 62. Medicare provides health insurance for older people when they retire, and that's usually taken out at the age of 65 or accessed at the age of 65. And some people who are disabled can get their Medicare before the age of 65. Now let's go down here to this chart. This is for the year 2021. It says that Social Security, the percent or the rate that's taken out of your paycheck is 6.2%. That just really means that for every $100 you make, $6.20 will be taken out for Social Security. Now, your employer, the person who employs you, also has to pay this amount as well. But we're just going to focus on the employee, not the employer. And I'll go over this maximum taxable income of $142,800 later in the video. Now, for Medicare, the rate is 1.45%. And that simply means that for each $100 you make, $1.45 is taken out of your paycheck. And again, your employer has to pay this amount as well. And there is no limit for the maximum taxable earnings for Medicare, just for Social Security. So let's look at an example. Let's say your taxable earnings for the year are $90,000. How much did you contribute to Social Security? How much did you contribute to Medicare? Well, really what you need to do is take this number, 90,000, and multiply it by 6.2%. So let's do that. Take this 90,000 times 6.2%. And hopefully you remember that 6.2% equals 0.062. Or you can write it this way, 0 0.062. Same thing. And one way to get this decimal is just take this 6.2 and divide it by 100 on your calculator because that's what percent means to divide out of 100. Another way to do it is just move this back to two spaces. One, two. Let me do that one more time. Whenever you want to get rid of the percentage, you can take the decimal and move it to the left to like this. I call this the butt cheek method because it looks like a butt cheek, but that will help you remember this process. And now the decimal instead of being here is right here and you can just put a zero here. So it becomes 0 0.062. So I'm going to multiply this 90,000 times 0 0.062. And let's see what we got. And again, you can write 0 0.062. And really, if you have a percent symbol on your calculator, you don't even need to go through this process. You could just take 90,000 times 6.2% if you have a percent symbol on your calculator. And you don't need to go through this process. But I think it's important to know how to convert the percent to a decimal. All right, so let's go ahead and punch this in the calculator. 90,000 times 0 0.062 and it's $5,580. So let me write that in there. Now let's go ahead and do the, um, the Medicare tax. How do you think we would go about doing that? Well, again, we take 90,000 times 1.45%. How do you think you'd write 1.45% as a decimal? Well, just use the butt cheek method again and move this back two places. And we'll put a zero here and our new decimals here. So it becomes 0 0.0145. We drop off the percentage. Or just divide that number by 100 on your calculator. This is 0 0.0145. And let's see what that equals. 90,000 times 0 0.0145 equals 1305. So for the 
for the year 2021 and 2021 hasn't ended yet. So let's say at the end of year 2021, which for this video is in the future, we take 90,000 times 0 0.062 and that's our social security tax. That's how much we contributed for the year, $5,580. And for Medicare, you would contribute $1,305 if this is your taxable earnings. Let's add this up and get a total amount that's taxed. So if add that together and you get $6,885. So the two of these taxes combined together, there's a special name for it. It's called the FICA tax. So if you see this word FICA on your paycheck, it just means that they're combining the social security tax plus the Medicare tax. It's the two added together. So FICA refers to both taxes added together. Just keep that in mind. And again, on the employee side, the person who is employing you, they, they are responsible for contributing as well. For them, that would be called the payroll tax. So that's pretty much how you do it. I want to go over a situation where we have to deal with that maximum taxable income. So let's say somebody makes... Um, and actually, I'm just going to focus here on the Social Security right now. Let's say, clean that up there. Let's say somebody makes this exact amount. Now, what this means, the maximum taxable income, is that if you make over this amount, you're no longer taxed for Social Security. That's not true for Medicare. There's no limit. So, for example, if somebody makes $142,800, once they go over that amount, there's no tax. So if somebody makes a million dollars, for example, their tax is going to be the same amount as somebody who makes $142,800. That's very important. So let's write this down. And I'm just focusing on Social Security right now. How much would someone pay for Social Security if they made the maximum taxable income? Well, I just do it like I did previously. I take this number times 0 0.062. Let's see what that is. So I'm taking 1,428,000 times 0 0.062 equals the following 8,8,5,3,2,1,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,
times 0 0.062. Because anything over this amount, they don't have to pay taxes on. And as you can see, this $150,000 goes over this amount. So you take the maximum taxable income times 0 0.062. We just did that. And that gives you 8853.60 right here. Again, don't make the mistake of taking this $150,000 times this. Now, the Medicare has no limit. So for the Medicare, you actually take the full number, the 150000 You take the whole amount, because there's no maximum taxable income for Medicare, times 0 0.0145. Let's see what that equals. 150,000. One more zero times 0 0.0145. That equals 2175. I'll just put a 0 0.00 on a. There's dollar signs next to these. I just didn't put them in. And then how would I figure out the FICA tax here? Remember, the FICA is the two added together if you're asked that. So the FICA tax, you just add these two up. So 2175 plus 8853.60, and that equals, hope I did that right, yeah, 11028.60. And I'll put a dollar sign on this one. So your FICA tax, the two combined for the year, would be $11,028.60. So I hope that cleared things up for the maximum taxable income. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.